Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Today we are going to study O-level Islamia's topic that is Battle of Badr. Uh, it was happened in 7th Ramzan to after Hijra. It means the second year of the Hijra Muhammad Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam migrated to Medina. In this topic uh, we would study about the Badr's uh, all explanation that what would happen there and how the people were murdered and how the Sahabas were got martyrdom. So all such things we study in this lecture. So we are going to start O level Islamia this lecture that is a battle of Badr. It was happened and it was fought on 70 from Zan to AH. AH means after Hijrat the date of exactly two years after the Hijrat. What happened there? 313 people in Muslims army. The army Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam brought in the field of Badr. There 313 people were included in his army and they were just standing against the 1000 men fully equipped from the uh, Qurayshids and they brought from the Makkans means the people belong to the non-Muslims the people belong to the Makkah they were fully equipped and were in number of 1000 men and the Muslims were just 313 and they were ready to fight against the 1000 men in front of them they were fully equipped now as you know that each and every uh, thing would need a plan and a strategy so that's why the Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam made the strategy to fight the battle of Badr. So in the beginning he seized the water supply, blocked all the wells except one. Means the water wells all were blocked by uh, throwing stones and some sands in it and blocking them except the one which was near to Medina and that was beneficial for the Muslim army to get the water during the war. So it was the first strategy uh, made by Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam seize the water supply to the people of Quraysh and the people against the Islam. Now, the second thing that Muhammad did there in the Battle of Badr, he prayed to Almighty Allah deeply because it is a very keen thing to do at that time that you should get the uh, blessings and help and support of Almighty Allah. So Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam prayed to Almighty Allah deeply and he prayed to Almighty Allah that uh, you would help us, you would support us and you would send some angels to help us in this fight between the Islam and the non-Muslims. Now, Makkans encamped on the sandy soil. That is the second thing was naturally went into the favor of Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam that the Muhammad's army were uh, placed, were uh, stayed at the point where the sand was not soil and oily, but where the Makkans encamped, the sand was completely uh, full of oil and full of uh, slippery. And when the rain started, the sand became very much slippery. So it could uh, generate a great hurdle uh, to the horses and the camels of the Makkans. A strong wind began to blow and hit. That was the second support was uh, given by Almighty Allah in this war and that place that a strong wind started and it was started just against in the direction of the Makkans and this strong wind brought some dust particles, sand particles into the eyes of the Makkans and it would generate a great calamity and difficulty for the Makkans to fight against the Muslims. Now, what happened next? Angels sent down to help Muslims mentioned in Surah Anfal. As you know that when Muslims come to fight for the sake of Islam, that Allah's promises that I would help them. So the Allah sends messengers, Allah sends angels in the shape of the bird and that is called Ababil and it was mentioned in Quran in Surah Anfal and it was clearly mentioned and just because of this clearance the Iqbal has also written a poetry and the one of his shair and one of his stanza is that ke fazai badar paida kar farishte teri nusrat ko utar sakte hain gardon se qatar andar qatar ab bhi it was a stanza that was made just to explain the scenario and the condition of battle of badar at that time that allah sends angel in the shape of bird and it was mentioned in quran ababil and it is clearly written in surah anfal so that was the second help and biggest help of almighty allah that came towards the Muslims. Battle of Badr fought in three stages. Now it is a strategy to fight and it was a clear journal concept in Arabs people that they started
started fighting by means of three beginning rules number one words in the beginning they gave them each other the dialogue and their perceptions and their legal elements and legal authentic issues to solve the problem to solve the fighting and second when the war would not become come to end by means of words then they started single combat what does it mean single combat one to one competition started between a person or from the muslims army and a person from the non muslims army and finally they started journal fighting so the battle of badr was started in these three stages first words second single combat and the third is journal fighting now when the war started what happened in the beginning quraish lost three prominent chiefs number 1 utba bin rabia number 2 shabiba utba's brother and number 3 walid bin utba ya walid bin utba utba's father means you can say that the all siblings of a one family were killed were murdered by the muslim army very easily in the beginning and there were three big prominent chiefs of quraish army so they would come in raid and they would come in very much aggression just because of murder of these three person how muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam peace be upon him started war first shoot arrows second hurl stones and third start battle with swords it was a second strategy to start the battle of badr that muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam ordered their soldiers that first you should shoot arrows and then further they would hurl stones hurl stones mean throwing stones towards the enemies and the third one is start battle with swords. Swords with the horses and with the camels, whatsoever they had at that time for fighting. Who had been killed? Abu Jahl, Omayya bin Khalif. Total seventy killed and seventy got in prison. Fourteen Muslims were martyred. Also got one hundred and fifty camels and fourteen horses. Now, what is mentioned on this screen? That Abu Jahl and Omayya, they both were killed by the Muslims in that war in the Battle of Badr, and seventy other non-Muslims were killed from the Quraysh, and seventy got in prison by the Muslims. And only fourteen Muslims were murdered. You can say martyred, and they went to paradise by the hands of the non-Muslims. And Muslims were also got their one hundred and fifteen camels. Camels and fourteen horses. So it means it was a clear idea by this description that Muslim got success in this war easily after a few hours of fighting. Muslims decided to get revenge. What does revenge means? Revenge means revenge. What happened to the Muslims when they saw that their big three chiefs and Abu Jahl and other big Commanders were killed and murdered by the Muslims, so they decided to get revenge, and they came again on third Ramadan after the two years of this battle. So it was a revenge. At that time, when they came again after preparing, they brought three thousand well-equipped men. In the beginning, in battle of Badr, for the very first time, they brought one thousand, but now they brought three thousand well-equipped men in the battle just to get the revenge and just to get the revenge. And also with three hundred, sorry, three thousand well-equipped men, they brought two hundred horses. says and 3000 camels now you can easily observe that but when they are in the mood to get a winch they are fully prepared fully equipped and they brought a number of horses and a large amount of camels in the number of 3000 now who were getting and who were leading them abu sufyan the first one hind abu sufyan's wife and utba's daughter so you can see easily and clearly the people are in great aggression great anger to get the revenge of their 70 people were murdered in the first time in battle of badr and other abu jahl and other three big chiefs so that's why abu sufyan hind and utba's daughter brought 3000 well equipped men along with 200 horses and 3000 camels to get the revenge Now the important information. Hide Vaishi bin Harb, the famous lancer. Vaishi bin Harb was brought just to kill Hamza because Hamza killed Utbas. He was the responsible of Utbas's death. So Hind brought Vaishi to get revenge of his father's death and just become in aggression. He hide Vaishi. he is a famous lancer he is very much 
benefit beneficial or effective in fighting just for getting the revenge so hamza killed hence father so that's why hamza is a responsible razi allah taala anhu so that's why the way she has brought to kill or to give martyrdom to hazrat hamza now where it was happened this second war where it was happened it was happened in ohad hill wadi aik it was happened in ohad hill at wadi aik how this war had started 1000 muslims with 300 horsemen in competition in front of 3000 well equipped person the muslim brought only 1000 soldiers with 300 horses now what happened what was the misery with them abdullah bin ubay left the ground with his 300 soldiers showed that he is a hypocrite at that time when abdullah bin ubay got back with, along with his 300 soldiers now after taking his 300 soldiers the muslim had only 700 soldiers in the competition of 3000 well equipped soldiers of quraish but the allah sahab was also there so they were very much in passionation passionate and they were very much in passion to get the uh, fight and they are ready to fight just in the sake of almighty's allah's religion this event was happened in ohad hill wadi aik now important what happened how did muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam organize this meeting 50 archers abdullah bin jabir appointed means muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam appointed abdullah bin jabar with along with 50 archers on the slope side at the top of the hill where muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam thought that that the quraish would attack if this place is empty or given a space to the non muslim so that's why the 50 archers are appointed at the top of the hill in the command of abdullah bin jabbar in individual combat talha and his brother uthman were killed by ali and hamza razi allah taala anha ali and hamza killed talha and uthman in the individual combat as we mentioned earlier in this uh, description that it was a great and it was a tradition among the arabs so they start fighting with words then the individual fighting and the third on the third stage they do general combat general war so in the individual fighting talha and uthman were killed uh, by the hands of azad ali and hazrat hamza now when the archers those were placed at the place at the top of the hill in the commandment of abdullah bin jabbar when they saw that the muslim got success and they were busy for getting the ghanimat so the 38 archers left their position without getting the orders from muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam only 12 archers were placed at the top of the hill for the surveillance and for giving the protection from that point of hill when 38 archers left their position so that's why it was very clearly seen that the place is completely empty to attack upon the muslims so khalid bin walid attacked the muslim from rear so at that place when khalid bin walid saw that only 12 archers are present there so khalid bin walid attacked the muslims from that position and it was a great misery and after that the muslims got a very great setback in that war so said what so said the mohali prophet peace be upon him were surrounded by some faithful followers because the attack of khalid bin walid in returning from that point of the hill it was great it was massive and it was very much powerful so muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam were encircled by their faithful followers rumors impact what happened holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam was martyred it said in all muslim warriors the rumor came between the war that muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam was martyred by the hands of the non muslim so the all muslim said and, and they thought that muhammad prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam got martyred him during the war this cry caused the makkans relaxed and stop fighting when the muslim become sad and on the other hand the makkans become relaxed and stop fighting because they thought that now the prophet peace be upon him was martyred martyred so that's why we have done our work so it, there is no need to fight further but when they knew that holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam was alive so decided to meet muslim a year later but when returning when they heard or somebody told them that muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam was still alive so they decided to meet muslims a year later once again to get a uh, finally revenge one more time finally at the end muslim remained at ohad hill late in the evening 
Why? Because Hazrat Khalid bin Walid attacked them from the rear part of the top of the hill and he murdered and he attired a lot of Muslims. Busy in burying their dead nearly 74 in numbers, 74 Sahabas got murdered them just because of this lackness of 38 archers who came down without getting the permission of the Prophet Against only 10 Makkans were killed. In that attack, and just in the returning from Azad Khalid bin Walid at the top of the hill, only 10 Makkans were killed, but in comparison, 74 Muslims were martyred in that attack. So that was the story. That was the brief story about the Jange Badr. I hope so that you have understood this uh, scenario of Jange Badr. For further queries, you have to write some questions in the description bar. As soon as I get your question, I will give you an answer. Thank you.